What's up, guys? Today we're looking at key signatures. So what is a key signature? A key signature is simply a set of sharps or flats placed on a staff. As we can see in this picture, we got um, a bunch of sharps and flats chilling on top of uh, staffs. Those are literally kind of what key signatures are, but they tell us which notes are to be played higher or lower than the corresponding natural notes. So let's take a look at what that means. So here we have a key signature, and we see that there's some sharps written on it. And so, as we just said, uh, these sharps are telling us that we're going to be playing higher uh, a notes, notes that are higher than the corresponding natural notes. So, for example, here we have an F, here we have a C, and here we have a G. So when we see, for example, an F written over here, we know that we're not going to be playing a F natural. We're going to be playing something a little higher than F natural. And um, a sharp symbol here tells us specifically that we're going to raise the notes on a line by one semitone above the natural. So this note that we're going to be playing is uh, going to be an F sharp. This note right here isn't going to be a C natural. It's going to be a C sharp. We're going to play a C sharp. And same thing with G. This tells us we're not going to be playing G natural. We're going to be playing G sharp. All right. So that's what a sharp symbol tells us. A flat symbol tells you to lower the notes on a line by one semitone below the natural. So here we have an E. Okay. And so if we see an E somewhere over here, or we see an E somewhere down here, we know that we're not going to be playing E natural. We're going to be instead playing E flat. And E flat is a half step below E or a semitone below E. All right. And uh, you'll notice here that I wrote both of these E's out, even though the flat is only written on this line. And so it's important to understand that a symbol in the key signature, like a flat or a, uh, a sharp, affects all the notes of that one letter. So uh, even if we we're going to go into the bass clef or if we we're going to go higher and go another octave above and have some E that's floating around way up here, um, this flat is going to apply to all of those E's. Okay, It's not just to this guy right here. It applies to all of them. And that goes for any sharp symbol or flat symbol found in a key signature. Now, any set of sharps or flats gives you a key signature, all right? We can get pretty crazy. We can do, you know, let's have a sharp, let's have a flat, let's have a sharp and a flat and blah, okay? But uh, there are 15 key signatures that are most commonly used because they correspond to the 15 diatonic scales. And the 15 diatonic scales are... Uh, C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, C sharp, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. Now, that seems like a jumbled mess, but we're going to introduce the circle of fifths to make it a little bit easier because notating these 15 diatonic key signatures follows the circle of fifths. So uh, the, the circle of fifths makes our life a lot easier, and it makes it a lot easier to maybe memorize but certainly understand and figure out how to derive these key signatures. So let's move on over there. So here we have the circle of fifths, all right? And as we see, we have all of those diatonic uh, keys, and here we also have uh, 15 different uh, key signatures. Uh, actually, they didn't put um, the C key signature here, but it looks kind of like that because there's no sharps or flats. Um, anyway, but, but we're going to start up at the top here with C major, or C, um, and as we work our way clockwise, uh, we're going to be raising a fifth. I mean, that's what the circle of fifths is. As we work clockwise, we're going to be raising the key a fifth, and as we raise the key by a fifth, we're going to add a sharp. So, for example, when we, uh, let's say we start in the key of C, we're going to raise a fifth, and now we're going to be in the key of G, we add a sharp. All right, and as we can see, we just add a sharp right there. Uh, let's take another example. Here we are in the key of A. We're going to raise a fifth and go to the key of E because E is a fifth above A. And we see that we moved from having three sharps to four sharps. Look at that. Now, for major keys, when you add a sharp, you always add it to the leading note or the seventh degree. So let's look at moving from C to G again. 
C we know has no sharps or flats. But when we move into G, we add a, sh a sharp. So the question is, what note is that? Well, that is the seventh note in the G major scale, or it is also the leading note. That's the same thing. And so what is the seventh note? Or what is the leading note? Well, it's an F. So we know that G has an F sharp. All right. Now let's go from E to, uh, I'm sorry, from A to E. We know going from A to E, we're going uh, up by a fifth. We have to add a sharp. And the question is, what note is that? Well, it's a D because D is the seventh degree of E. And it's also the leading note. Um, those are synonymous. It's the leading note in the E major scale. So we're, we have a D sharp in the E major scale. For minor keys, when you add a sharp, you always add it to the supertonic or second degree. Now, if we're in the key of A minor, um, the tonic is going to be A. You know, it's like the root note. So the supertonic is just going to be the next note. It's going to be the note above the tonic. Uh, and that's going to be the second degree. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So here we are. Let's pretend we're in A minor, the key of A minor. We're going to go up a fifth, so we have to add a sharp. And so the question is, well, what sharp are we adding to uh, the E minor scale? Well, we're going to be adding a sharp to the second degree of E, you know, the super tonic of uh, E minor, and that's going to be, uh, you have E, F, so it's going to be F. So we have an F sharp in the key of E minor. Um, and so you were probably able to figure that out right away if you know that E minor and G major are relative keys. Uh, and that just means that they share key signatures. So now we're going to work uh, counterclockwise here. Okay. And when we move counterclockwise on the circle of fifths, we're moving down a fifth. When we go from C to G, we're going up a fifth. But when we go from C to F, we're moving down a fifth. Okay. Now, let's see. So when we go counterclockwise and lower the key by a fifth, you add a flat. So again, C has no sharps or flats. But when we go from C to F and we move down a fifth, we're going to add a flat. So F has a key signature of one flat. And here we are. Let's look at A flat down here. We see that we have four flats. Now we're going to move down a fifth and we're going to get to D flat. And we see that we've added a flat here. Okay. Now when moving in the counterclockwise direction, when you add a flat for major keys, you always add it to the subdominant or fourth degree. For example, when we move from C to F, we knew that we were moving down by a fifth. And so since we're moving down by a fifth, we're adding a flat. And that means we're going to be adding a flat to the fourth degree of F. Well, what is the fourth degree of F? It's B. So we know that um, F has one flat and it's a B flat. So we know that the key signature of F is just B flat. You know, that's, that's what it is right there. All right. Now, for minor keys, when you add a flat, you always add it to the submediant or sixth degree. So here we are on A minor again, and let's move over to D. So when we go from A to D, we're moving down a fifth. And so that means that we're going to add uh, a flat into this D minor scale. And the question is, what note are we adding it onto? And we add it onto the sixth degree of the D minor scale or um, the submediant. And so let's just write that out. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then it starts on D again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So look at that. B flat is what we add it. Uh, the key of D minor has, the scale of D minor has a B flat in it. And again, um, you probably know this, but D minor and F major are relative keys. That means that they share key signatures. Now, there's a much easier way to figure out which notes of a key signature have sharps or flats. What we have been doing is, is looking at whether or not we're moving up a fifth or down a fifth, whether or not it's a, a major or minor key, stuff like that. Um, but there's an easier way. And so if you look at this, we see that when we go from C to G, we're adding a flat. Well, what do we add? We add an F sharp. 
Um, when we go from G to D, we're moving up a fifth, so we add a sharp. Well, what are we adding? Well, we know from um, our earlier talk that we're going to be adding uh, the sharp to the leading tone of D. And so what is that? Well, that's going to be C. So we have C sharp. All right. When we go from D to A, we are uh, going to add a sharp, and we're going to add uh, this sharp right there, and that's going to be the leading tone of A. And what's that? Well, that's going to be G sharp. So do you notice anything? Doesn't that kind of look like this? It does look like that. Awesome. And so we can see that the order of sharps is actually just like this. It goes from F to C to G to D to A to E to B. All right. So um, that's very useful. Let's go over to this crazy guy over here, which unfortunately doesn't have a label. This is C sharp. So let's figure out which sharps are in C sharp. Well, there's seven of them. So it has all the sharps. So it has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. What about B sharp? What sharps does it have? Well, it has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. So those are the order of sharps. It's really easy. And if you notice, if you zoom in on the uh, key signature down here, you'll actually see that they're written in that order. So here's F, here's uh, C, here's G, here's D, and here's A. All right. So let's take a look at the flat side. So we saw that there's an order to the sharps, but is there an order to the flats? Well, there sure is. It's uh, the opposite. So sharps, you go from F all the way to B, and for flats, you go from B all the way to F, okay? So here we see that um, A flat has four sh flats. And so what are those four flats? Well, it's B, E, A, and D, okay? What about B flat? It has two flats. Well, what are those? Well, it's B flat, obviously, and it's E. So we see that there are seven sharp keys, and there are seven flat keys. And then we have one neutral key, so that gives us our 15 diatonic uh, key signatures. And just really quick, here is a table to kind of make this even more clear. All right, so here we have our neutral key C. It has no sharps or flats. Um, and then here we see kind of the ordering of the circle of fifths. We're going up a fifth, up a fifth, up a fifth, okay? And then all the way up to C-sharp major, we see that C-sharp major has seven sharps. Um, and so we're able to see which sharps those are. We see that every single time we go up a fifth, we're adding a sharp. Look at that, okay? And the question is, well, what are those sharps? Um, well, it's really easy to see that it, it goes up according to what we said before. It goes up according to this ordering, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. I think there's actually a mnemonic device here where it's like Father Charlie goes down and ends battle. And then uh, for the sharp keys and then going backwards, it's uh, battle ends and down goes Charlie's father or something like that for when you're going and looking at the flat keys. But let's go back to the table. All right. And then down here with the flats, we see um, that F major has one flat because we're going down a fifth when we're going from C to F. And then from F to B flat, we're going down a fifth. So we have to add a flat and we're adding an E flat. Um, and again, we're adding the fourth degree. Um, and then we see the ordering of flats right here. All right. Every single time we add one, we're adding it according to the order of flats. And that was uh, battle ends and down goes Charlie's father or something like that. That's pretty much it. Those are our diatonic key signatures. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.